All right, tonight I'm going to be doing some lamb chops here. And uh, this recipe is pretty easy, and it'll work great if you have any other type of chops, like pork chops. So what we want to do is start off with your chops here, and some garlic, some fresh rosemary, and a little bit of butter. We're going to need some salt and some pepper. First thing you want to do is, with the fat rind on your chop, uh, to prevent the meat from curling when it shrinks, is to go ahead and cut into the fat rind in a couple different spots, and that will prevent the meat from curling up when uh, when it shrinks when you cook it. Go ahead and season it with some salt and your pepper, and then push this into the meat, and we're going to do this on both sides. Get our pan heating up and add some olive oil, about probably two to three tablespoons, uh, or enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Once the oil's hot, go ahead and drop in your chops. We're going to add in our rosemary around the outsides and the spaces between the lamb chops here. And this will cook out the flavors from the rosemary into the lamb and the, and the juices around it. Throw in our garlic. We want to crush the garlic with the broad side of, the, of a knife, crush them pretty good, and then throw them in. And then we're going to put in a couple cuts of butter here. Now, these ones we're going to cook for about five to six minutes on each side because they're a little thicker before we flip them. So if you're cooking a thinner chop, like a pork chop, you can do about three to four minutes probably on each side. Yeah, I got some nice color going on these. And if your garlic's cooked, seems to be cooking well, go ahead and throw it on top. Keep the rosemary in the pan. What we're going to do when we flip them is we're going to baste them with the juice once we flip them. So tip the pan and make sure you can get the juice. And we're just going to baste them. And this is going to help with the cooking process and keeping them moist. Baste them for about a minute or two and then let them finish cooking the rest of the way. Alright, let's get it plated up here. I made some asparagus and some garlic mashed potatoes to go along with this. And these chops came out really good, these lamb chops. And these, like I said, these will work for pork chops or any other type of chop that you're working with. Alright, thanks.